So guys, in this video, we're building a Discord bot and it's going to be a very simple bot. Uh, we'll write the command ping and it's just going to respond pong to us. Uh, and uh, it's going to be a small video, but I'll still divide it into two separate small parts. So this is part one of the video. And in this video, we'll try to uh, do all the process that's required on Discord to get our token IDs generated. And in, in the second video, we'll actually write our Golang code. So uh, here are the steps, as you can see on my screen, that we're going to follow. So you need a Discord account for, uh, you know, obviously. And then secondly, you uh, need to be a, uh, an admin of a server. So this is, uh, this can be, uh, you know, if you don't do this step, you, uh, it can be very confusing for you because uh, a lot of people try to create a bot uh, for servers that they're not an admin of, and that will be tricky because you won't be able to uh, give it any permissions. So you need to create a server and you need to be admin of that server. So, and then we'll have to create an app. So let's get started from this point onwards, right? So I already have uh, my Discord account and I am an admin of this uh, fake community called tribe community. And then what we'll do is we'll say uh, Discord API. Let's, let's search for that. And it says, uh you know blah 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 and here it says make an app okay go make an app so i'll create a new application i'll say ping bot it just pings back right so i'll say create and here it's given me my application id and it's given my public key right so let's go back to our diagram and see we have created the bot now we have to assign it permission sorry we have created an app now we have to create a bot in this so you can see this third option is bot so uh, what you'll do now is you will add bot you'll say yes and then it's go it's given you a token right so you can click to reveal it and you can copy this token and keep it right and uh, so make sure you copy this token and now let's go back to our diagram so we've created a bot now let's assign it permissions so the permissions that i'll assign it will be send messages and actually i'm going to click on all of these it doesn't matter it's going to read and send messages basically and also view channels so that is it and now what we'll do is we'll again go back uh, we'll see that we have to copy bot token we have already done that right and now we have to authorize the app to the server using a link so this link is something that i always keep uh, misplacing so i i have kept it with myself i've emailed it to myself and what i'll do now is i'll also put this in the description box below so that you can find it easily this uh, link can be slightly challenging to find. I mean, I was not I was not able to find it at least on their website. So here, uh, the client ID that we need to put is the uh, application ID that you'll find in your general information uh, in your application dashboard. So we'll just copy this application ID and we'll place it here. And now we'll press enter. And here is going to ask you uh you know uh, about the ping bot do you want to add it to your server and which server do you want to add to so i'll say tribe community i'll say authorize i'll say i'm a human and authorize right so now if i go back to my uh community tribe community i'll see the ping bot here right and i'll be able to send it messages so now we have our bot token we have authorized our bot our bot is uh, there in our uh server so everything looks good and now in the next video what we'll do is we'll just write the code uh, to create the bot in golang and um, so do subscribe to the channel so that you come to know when the video comes out the next video comes out of this series and thanks a lot for watching